shows, but there are so many, and it's so hard to keep up. So here to break it all down is our resident pop culture expert, Norman Baker. Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> all right, Norman, we go. Okay, well, how are you doing? Hey. I'm gonna see you. All right, so we're gonna get into it because the Real Housewives of Atlanta is back, Ooh, and yes. the trouble is brewing for Drew Sador and her husband, Ralph. Yes, trouble in paradise with these two. So we know that they have already both have filed for divorce. Oh, no. Uh-huh. So uh, the season started, and we're sort of seeing how what led up to that. Yeah. And on this Sunday's episode, we saw that, like, a little bit of a red flag because Drew, or Ralph, uh, compared them to a famous celebrity couple. Oh. He, he could have had uh, any couple in the history of the planet to compare them to. Look who he compared themselves to. Let's take a look. Okay. Now that I'm adding music on my plate, how do you feel about me going from being with the kids 100%, being a true housewife, back to my career. That was always the plan from the beginning. And we like, like Ike and Tina. No, 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 not crazy Ike, like regular. The well, last time I checked, Ike was on Tina. Ralph definitely hit his head on one of those rocks coming down because I thought we were Beyonce and Jay-Z, but he's saying Ike and Tina, I'm not eating the cake anime. <laughs> And Tina, of all the people, I'd rather be Bobby and Whitney. Oh, my Come on, God. now. I'd rather take that. But it's like, if he could have said Beyonce and Jay-Z. Yeah. He could have said Michelle and Barack. Correct. He, he, yeah, he better not go in that divorce court telling the judge, I'm just like Ike Turner. I know. Like, and he said not the Ike that was crazy. Ike yeah. was always crazy. Always crazy. Eat the cake, Ooh. anime. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Drew. Ooh. All right, so, Norman, next, everybody's talking about the Vanderpump Rules uh, re reunion, and that one is on tonight. Oh. This is a lot. You got to break this down. Oh, my goodness. Tonight okay. is the Vanderpump Rules reunion. This is like, for me, the Super Bowl <laughs> or the Oscars. <laughs> and just like the Oscars, somebody is getting slapped. Oh, <laughs> Norman, no. you so bad. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have heard, but it's a huge, huge event and a huge scandal. Tom Sandoval and Ariana were this couple that had been together for nine whole years, nine years. And they were so sweet. They were like this. They were like, cool. But then he slept with her best friend, Raquel. Dum, oh dum, dum. Are you serious? Yeah. Just to like put it in terms that we can all relate to, this is like if Martin cheated on Gina with Pam. Oh, OK. Yeah. This is like, That's bad. That's right, bad. exactly. This is like if Ross cheated on Rachel with Phoebe. Oh, man. This is like if Stedman cheated on Oprah with Gail. Oh! Yeah! No! Gotta keep your eye on Gail. No! Gotta keep your eye on her. No, <laughs> Gail, the best friend. Oh, that's right. terrible. Okay. So, the, uh, we have a sneak peek of the trailer, and it's, it's airing tonight. Let's take a look. Ooh. I don't see anything good coming for either of those rats. A reunion that may be more explosive. Don't even look at me. You don't deserve to look at this. I have been super selfish. Selfish does not cover it. Diabolical, demented, subhuman. I need a break from filming. Stop, Stop filming me. I don't want to hammer my face. Tom, you are in love. Come on, it's a very simple question. Are you in love or are you not? Scandalous. So Raquel was her best friend. Her best friend, her like BFF Wasn't for years. Wasn't she telling her like go with Tom and Tom? Uh huh. And she's Tom. trying to like yeah. And I think they might still be together. Raquel. The yeah, Raquel human? and Tom. Yeah. Oh, that's now, so dirty. How would you feel if your man slept with Kim Whitley? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first of all, if a man gonna sleep with that crazy ass, then I hate <laughs> that crazy as right. Kim is. Oh my gosh, right. like I can't imagine that betrayal because your girl, your best friend, that's the one who's your your ride or die. Exactly. You trust her with everything. Uh -huh. So for her, for her to go, that means you know what that says to me. Raquel never liked her in the first place. Oh, uh, like, Raquel was true. always jealous true. of her. Now, we've seen place. signs. Raquel was a little dirty. Like, we knew. They she, didn't, a lot of people didn't like her. No one likes her, oh. especially now. Get rid of her. And see, that's the thing. The other people saw signs of her being treacherous like yep. that. And but Ariana was, was the one defending. Took her in. Yep, uh-huh. That's what, see, my grandmother always said, don't be bringing your man around your, the girls yep. in your life. Uh-huh. 
Don't be doing that. That's right. Yeah, see, they, they start seeing y'all together and they like, and they uh -huh. start liking She's that. She's like, I want that. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know what I'm gonna say to what's the word, Ariana? Uh huh. Girl, if you wanna roll up to her house, we there. I'm with you. <laughs> right. I, I'm a roll up girl. Right. I'm a roll up girl. You know what? I'm going with you. You a roll uh -huh, up girl? Yeah. All right, uh -huh. we rolling up. Norman, <laughs> you make me laugh so much. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> out, you. Norman. You are out of the control room again to share your reality TV knowledge. Now you gotta get back to work. You okay, I'll get back to work. <laughs>